can I help you? Uh, yes, we're waiting to see Dr. Wallace. Oh, of course you are. McGregor and Blake, the sailors with the drugs. Do, do you know where he is? You're looking at him. John Wallace, GP. Come along then, I've got patients waiting. The storeroom's out the back. Hey, doctor, the young cancer patient in there. Ruby Johnson. Are, are you treating her? Well, I'm giving her all the right drugs. Will she recover? Not likely. So why is she not in the mainland in a hospital having treatment? I'm doing my best for her. But there's something in the water, Lieutenant. Oh, what are you talking about? The cancer. It's the water. And what makes you think that? Because I've been working in this community for a decade and in medicine for 30 years and I've never seen so much cancer. And you think that it's in the drinking water here? The ocean. It's full of toxins. Don't swim in it. Don't eat anything from it. I can't save you if you do. Doctor, it's equipment. Is it medical equipment? <laughs> you could say that. It's my distillery. I make rum. For medicinal purposes. <laughs> Dr. Wallace? Hello, oh, Lieutenant. How is she? Um, the nurses say she is responding to treatment. Oh, that's good news. Things are looking up. The police have arrested three executives from the Braxton Mining Group, and they've been charged with illegal ocean dumping, arson, and the murder of Jason Merritt. Thank you, Lieutenant. Most people wouldn't bother to listen. Even fewer would have the courage to follow up on something like this. You were right all along. And I'm sorry it took me so long to get with the program. I think the people of Stokes Island are very lucky to have you, Doctor. Well, looking after people is what I do. It's good for the Constitution. Well, I thought that's what the rum was for. <laughs> well, rum is good for just about everything.